Hello, today I'm going to show you how to convert a JPEG image into a vector graphic. Let's make a new document, set the width to 1280 pixels and the height to 820 pixels. Click OK. For this project you can use any JPEG image you have. I'm going to use a photo of a leaf I took. If you would like to use the same photo, feel free to download this file. I included a link to it in the description below. After you download this file, go to File, select Place, locate your file and click Place. Now click somewhere here and your image should fit into this document. First, we'll create custom color swatches. To do that, select the rectangle tool. Now get rid of the stroke and draw a small square. Next, select the eyedropper tool or press the letter I on your keyboard and we'll get our first color sample. Now let's duplicate this square and get another sample. And let's get a few more samples. When you are done, select all these squares, open the swatches panel and select the new color group icon. Name it whatever you like and click OK. Now you should see your custom swatches in the swatches panel. Let's delete these squares, we won't need them anymore. Next we'll trace the outline of our leaf. First let's lock this layer and create a new layer. Now let's get rid of the fill and change the stroke to bright blue. Let's zoom in on our leaf and we'll start tracing the outlines. Select the pen tool and we'll start from this point. You can move the artboard anytime during tracing. Just press and hold the spacebar and move your mouse. Let's start here. Click, click and drag, click and drag and keep tracing the outline of the leaf until you come to the beginning point. I'm going to speed up this video, but you can take as much time as you need. You should be familiar with using the pen tool. If you would like to learn more about it, please check out my other videos. Let's zoom out, turn off the visibility of the bottom layer and here is our traced image. Next we will add a gradient to it. Let's get rid of the stroke. Go to Window and select Gradient. Next open the Swatches panel and we will use our custom swatches to create our gradient. Just click on the color swatch, hold and drag it to the gradient slider. Let's delete the white swatch. Now change the type to radial. Press the letter G to show the gradient slide on the artboard and adjust the gradient. Now turn on the visibility of layer 1, turn off the visibility of layer 2 and let's make a new layer. Next we will add veins to our leaf. To do that we will create a custom brush. Let's change the fill to dark yellow. Now select the ellipse tool and draw a long and narrow ellipse. 
Next, open the brushes panel and drag it here to make a new brush. Select the art brush, click OK, OK again. Now click on the new brush to select it, close the window and delete this brush. Next, press the letter B for the brush tool and start painting veins. Now turn on the visibility of layer 2, select the layer 3, go to transparency window and turn the opacity to 50%. Thanks for watching, bye bye.